I do have I do yeah. have some peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Um, travel day, day 15, 14, whatever. Store. Travel day. Going home today. Bus is supposed to arrive about 11, 11:30, <laughs> something like that. We're in the um, Rock Plus room. Heather invited us in. Uh, it's going to have my cafe con leche here. And uh, let's see what uh, happens in the morning. So we have to pack today. And um, other than that, we have a few free hours where we can do whatever we want. So we'll see what happens. Probably not much. <laughs> mm. Well, I just picked a little place to sit down and nice pleasant view. Sitting in the shade, gonna play on my tablet for a little bit. Then we'll go pack and get that out of the way. And then we just kinda hang around until the bus shows up, I guess. Well, taking all my pills, including a Claritin I got yesterday. Clear this head cold up. My mouth is dry as the desert. Um, all packed up, ready to go. It's 12 after 10. The bus won't be here for about an hour, so a quarter to 11 I'll drag the bags up and uh, have another cold, delicious kubata. Cheers. Well, we didn't really expect the bus to come until 11.30, so I had another kubata. seconds later the bus arrives at 5 after 11 oh my god so I had to chug it <laughs> so didn't really get to enjoy it but anyway here we are on the bus on the bus uh, picking up from the various hotels on the way to the airport and then there's the whole nightmare of the airport but uh, we'll I'll see what happens there hopefully there'll be a wheelchair waiting for me but uh, I'll have to flag one down because my scooter's all packed up and the battery's in my bag. So that's it for the scooter till we get back to Canada. Anyway, it was a good time. 14 days, I think, somewhere around 14 days. And um, I could do 12. I think 12 is about right. Um, yeah, um, but it was just, you know, this whole head cold thing got me. I was last week I had this head cold and I'm buzzing on a Claritin right now so we're just pulling into Kawama at the moment there'll be some people here and then there's the 20-25 uh, minute bus ride to the airport and then, the, then the mayhem of that so we'll keep you updated as to the uh, uh, direction our journey takes mm, I hate traveling a view out the window of the bus as we go to the airport uh, yeah. on the other side you can see the ocean sliding by be nice I'm gonna miss it but we'll probably be back in November somewhere somewhere in Cuba don't know where yet I'm thinking that island just that big island but oh you'll be so bored I'll be so bored yeah but anyway, um, nice thing about Partidoro is there's a lot of stuff to do. We could go to Havana in November, but I don't know. These are guava fields. Um, gu uh, no, they're for tequila stuff. It's agave, not guava. Aga agave, agave fields. Yeah. Um, but um, pretty scrubby here in the country. I've flown over it. Tons of times in my flight simulator, my Microsoft flight simulator, and it's pretty scrubby all over the place. But anyway, it's an uh, interesting topography, for sure. These are the toll booths where they charge for uh, going from uh, to and from the Varadaro Peninsula. Um, you can see the cars, ladders, old cards and stuff. The buses kind of get a pass. It's like, you know, they pay so much a month or whatever. But, uh, the airport's not far. It's only about 20 minutes away. So, you know, we have to go.
go through the nightmare of checking in and blah 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 we already have our seats assigned so it's all good but uh, it's just like you know crowds of people and getting your luggage taken care of and blah 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 my suitcase broke this morning one of the wheels collapsed so I'm gonna have to buy a new suitcase next time we come they seem to last about two or three trips and that's it but yeah well anyway um, it is what it is who cares Part of the price of traveling. Yeah, my bag's yeah. got a few cracks in it too. Yeah. Well, the way the airport people oh, handle yeah. bags is they just oh, shuck them true. like footballs, man. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of the Cuban countryside, small little towns. Yeah, interesting stuff. Well, we're here at the airport. The counters are uh, remarkably empty from check-in agents. But um, who cares? We have assigned seats, so I'm just cooling our jets here. My buddy here has been uh, pushing me around in a wheelchair. So um, it's all good. We'll just have to cool our jets for a bit. Well, we um, made it past the uh, security and all that crap. Uh, tipped the guy the last of my oh, Cuban pesos. Yeah. My friend Sherry got fucking. Then I went upstairs to uh, go through the duty freeze, and they did not have the rum that I thought would be here, that I could have easily bought on the strip in Veradero. So that's kind of disappointing. But what I did buy was some uh, Havana Club something or other that I've never seen before. It's a, uh, a selection thing. It says Havana Club selection. It's um, selection to Bistro. Uh, apparently it was like, you know, 60 seven bucks or 63 bucks or something like that but um i'm sure it's comparable well you can't buy this shirt in canada anyway that's what i bought i i went back one down one way all the way to the end down the, then back again and nobody had what i was looking for but anyway i got some good rum so yeah it's all good now i've had a sandwich and i'm um, having a beer and our flight doesn't board for another hour and, and a bolts. bit. Mm -hmm. And we're having nuts and bolts. So all of them are having nuts and bolts. Yes, Sherry's here with us. And uh, so that's what's happening now. So um, the the the, um, the uh, trek continues. Well, we made it onto the aircraft. There was a last minute. Thing. We thought we had about 20 minutes, 40 minutes to go, but ah, big panic. Anyway, go, yeah. yeah, man. So anyway, we got, we got, we got here. I had a, a full two fingers of rum and um, a whole beer, which I managed to chug down in about 90 seconds. <laughs> so that should be kicking in pretty soon. Uh, just had to grab all because uh, uh, I don't fly well, but. Um, We'll see what happens with that. I may be sleepy, I may not be sleepy, but uh, I certainly won't be grumpy. Uh -huh. <laughs> ask her later. Yeah, ask her later. Yeah, right. Anyway, anyway they're still boarding. Um, apparently, the internet is uh, you need a WestJet Connect app, which you need the internet to get, but you need the WestJet app to get the internet. So, Maybe we'll figure it out, maybe we won't. Perhaps the flight attendant will be able to help us, but we'll figure it out. I've, ju she will I, I've we'll just been told, I've just, here, uh, come, come again, come again. Yes, yes you can access the WestJet app without having, well, you can access the WestJet entertainment without having the WestJet app. But we can get the internet through it. Yes. Yeah. This, this from a flight attendant. So there we go. So we're all good. We'll figure it out eventually, and uh, hopefully all will be fine. It's just says I'm connected to the WestJet, but no internet. Oh, so. uh, same as the way down, but okay, well, whatever. Who knows? Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll seek assistance if we need it. Um, I think that, that uh, two figures of rum and a beer in 90 seconds is starting to kick in. <laughs> Well, we've had our pushback and our safety. 
lecture. And now we're headed for our takeoff position on the runway. put this up against the window and hopefully, hopefully, I'll get a decent uh, picture out of it this time rather than just glare and stuff. So, we'll see what happens. When the engines start to rev, um, I'll pop it up. No guarantees though. without a window seat. Anyway, uh, we'll wrap up the clouds on one side for banking. You still see green in on the other side. I don't know if you can see it, but through the window, it's probably just a glare. So, now you get to look at me again. <laughs> We're taking off. There's Matanzas over there. There's the peninsula, the Verdura Peninsula. Of course you can't see it, you're going to meet it, but there's the Baronero Peninsula. Yeah. Okay, so, to be continued when at lunch arrives. Looks like we just passed over the floor of the Keys and we're now um, coming up uh, and crossing part of the Panhandle. Um, our trays are weird. They 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 don't quite. They go now. It's on an angle, and if it goes up, it's on an angle. And so, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a it's a, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Radio. So uh, I'm having the chicken. I don't know if I said that before. Thing. I'm having the chicken, which on the way down was outstanding. Uh, and I'm going to have some sparkling wine with it. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to have a few gin and tonics to uh, round out the trip. Because aircraft travel sucks. Except we're in first class. So, you know, I can't complain. <laughs> Well, we just got served a WestJet pretzels. Um, I don't know, WestJet pretzels. And I got some uh, sparkling white wine. Nancy got some red wine somewhere. Fix this. And um, we also got with um, McCafe on it. I don't know why we have a napkin with McCafe on it, but we do. Well, the peasants get McDonald's food, which they can pay for. Really? I don't yes. think they get any food back there. They have to pay for it. They have to pay for McDonald's food. Yeah, McCafe. That's what uh, the menu is. Ah, that's uh, like disgusting. Oh, well. Huh. Pays to fly premium class. This is this is why we pay the big bucks. <laughs> we were just given the obligatory business class hot towels, which cool 
once you open them pretty much instantly but still it's nice to brush it over your face and your neck and clean your eyes and, oh my god it's awesome nice touch though it's, uh, asparagus tips, so. righty old the meal on the way down is uh, pretty well identical to on the way back I should say it's pretty well identical to the meal on the way down what we have is we have a uh, balsamic vinaigrette we have some butter lemon mousse which was delicious salt and pepper uh, looks like green bean it's or asparagus. asparagus asparagus salad with a tomato and what looks like goat cheese uh, a bun uh, a wet white bun and some uh, chicken with carrots and broccoli and potatoes which the last time I had it was absolutely brilliant That's excellent and they also filled my glass of sparkling wine up so you know what I can't I can't complain about that at all it was, this looks awesome this lemon cake this lemon cake is to die for oh my god is it ever good just having a little nap there uh, we're about a half hour away from touching down at 528 uh, so we're kind of a little ahead of schedule still a three hour flight not too bad taking care of Yep, all good. Looking forward to... We may have to wait a couple hours for the shuttle, which is kind of a drag, but... Well, it is what it is, who cares. Anyway, we should be home at uh, 2, 2, 2, 9 o'clock or so. Hopefully before, but... Anyway, um, certainly not after. Chewing our gum, we're half an hour till touchdown. Land and we're above the clouds, it's all, it's all pretty much cloudy. So, we'll end in half an hour. Then we gotta do the whole wheelchair thing and get the luggage thing and go by customs thing and catch our shuttle thing. And, uh, the thing, do the travel thing. <laughs> Well, it's uh, 5 12. We're beginning our descent into Toronto. 5 27 p.m. Touchdown. Yeah, baby. Well, 5 35. Um, we've docked. Everybody's standing up in their ship. We're going to have to wait until everybody's off because. I gotta get a scooter or a wheelchair. So, that's what it is. I let them all do their thing, man. Okay, my scooter apparently is gonna be an oversized baggage. Uh, we had a guy push me to the elevator who has now disappeared. But uh, apparently he's coming back, I hope. Okay, we finally got a wheelchair and I got like every other person asking me for a fucking boarding pass, which I don't have anymore because I've already boarded the fucking plane. I don't know what the hell. So, anyway, it's just not a first class experience. Well, we got through customs, um, found our scooter, my scooter, and now we're going to um, exit the area. And then I gotta really take a pee. Well, we're cruising through the airport on the way to the ground transportation area. Um, inside Toronto Airport. Got about an hour to wait. But, hey, okay, is what it is. You know what I mean? Anyway, I hate traveling. <laughs> Just saying. Probably dropping somebody else off around the same Well, it turns out our airport or transportation guy 
was right there when we got to the waiting desk, for waiting for us. So here we are, it's uh, 20 to quarter to seven. Uh, we should be home by quarter to eight, 8.15. Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. Yeah, pretty nice, I have no beer at home, but I got a shitload of rum in my suitcases. <laughs> Well, it's 10 after 8. We're home. End of a trip. Another good one.